Okay, guys. This, I want to introduce you to a sodium hypochlorite disinfectant generator. You can get these on eBay, Amazon. Um, I saw something similar on uh, Element Maker, his YouTube channel, where he discussed the possibility of uh, making chlorates using um, a similar uh, product. It's actually called the hypochlorous acid generator or something like that. It comes in a spray bottle, but it has a timer on it, so it only runs for about uh, 15 minutes at a time or, or less. Whereas this one here, there's no timer on this. So, stands to reason, if I was to make a saturated solution of uh, potassium chloride or sodium chloride, and if I'm able to run enough current through this, which I think I can do that with my cell phone uh, charger, uh, one of these, right? But uh, as long as it has at least uh, five volts or, or maybe a little more, five volts and uh, two amps running through it, I think we can, uh, I think we can generate uh, chlorates. So that's what we're going to attempt to do here. I'll show you what they look like. They're pretty small, and uh, I'll show you what they come with too. So what you're technically what you're supposed to do with this is after I've read the, the instructions, is you're supposed to fill this thing with uh, sodium chloride, table salt, and you're supposed to put it inside of the actual electrode itself. So this is what it looks like. I don't know what all that is. Could be some Chinese writing or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it is Chinese writing. But anyways, so this is just a cover, and this cover comes off. Yeah, definitely Chinese writing. So um, this plugs into the uh, charger, right? Your uh, cell phone wall wart. And this goes into a cup of sodium chloride. You're supposed to only put in a scoop. This thing says a gram, just one gram of sodium chloride. And it comes with a cute little scooper, nice. And you're supposed to put uh, the salt in here, the table salt. Oof, if I can get it to come off. There we go. So you're supposed to put the sodium chloride in here and then put it back together and then put it into the uh, water so this is the electrode let's take a look at the electrodes so one side I believe is the MMO or um, lead dioxide and the other side is stainless steel I'm almost positive but I'm pretty sure this is lead dioxide uh, maybe somebody can uh, tell us what they think and or you guys can Tell me what you think it is in the in the uh, comments below. It could be titanium, though the uh, the media that the uh, that the the coating is on. It's definitely not platinum, so it's either manganese dioxide or lead dioxide, some type of MMO. But I'm not sure which. There you go. There's a there's a better uh, more focused look at it so we're gonna we're gonna run this in a uh, super saturated solution of potassium chloride for five days well five or four days <clears throat> and we're gonna see what we can get see if we get any uh, chlorate crystals out of it just using um, a standard cell phone uh, wall wart you know the, the cell phone charger 5 volt 2 amp you know the standard the charging plug for your cell phones so we're going to see if that works and uh, run it for four or five days and I'll get back to you. I'll, maybe I'll do a little uh, uh, update in the middle, you know, just to see how it's going. If it's actually working, uh, like around day two or three or something like that. So I'll come back uh, when I've got this in the uh, sodium chloride. I mean the uh, potassium chloride. I'll be back. Okay, so this is what we've done. We've taken our new salt, 
aka potassium chloride. So if you look at the back, the uh, ingredients are potassium chloride. That's it. There isn't even any, um, uh, what do you call it, anti, um, what the hell is it called? The, the, the stuff that they put in here to keep it from clumping together. Anti-clumping agents. There are none. So all we're going to do now is make a saturated solution, which I have done here. Right? So once we've got a saturated solution at room temperature, there's no more can be absorbed into this solution. We're going to pour some of this into another jar, and we're going to put our sodium hypochlorite disinfectant generator. Oops, that was nice. So once we do that, we'll start the generator, and we'll see if we can get chlorates from this. Theoretically, it should work. It should definitely work. If this is definitely a lead dioxide anode or a potassium anode, mixed metal oxide, it should definitely work. And in order to convert the chloride into chlorite, it would have to be either lead dioxide, mixed metal oxide, or platinum in order for this to work. Or even like, like manganese dioxide. It would have to be one of those in order for this to convert the reduce the chloride, uh, chloride into chlorite. So this should work. We'll get back to it. Uh, I'll come back when we're running it. Okay, guys. So this was it. This is what I got after after uh, four days, a four-day run using the uh, hypochlorite generator, and they are beautiful. These crystals are absolutely beautiful. Beautiful window pane crystals. Yeah, they are phenomenal looking. could bleach yet I could have got more um, if I had boiled the solution down and uh, disproportionated the rest of the uh, hypochlorite into uh, chlorate but uh, I was in a rush to finish this video and I didn't I don't really have a need for these chlorates so these are all gonna get consumed with the uh, sugar <laughs> sugar and fire <laughs> so I have uh, I have a whole bunch of uh, wood from the trees coming down that have to get burned so I'm going to use this to help accelerate it but uh, I just wanted to show how how this is a viable method for uh, getting chlorates easy easily and quickly so we'll get a uh, we'll get a weight total on how much I got and uh, we'll put it in the description but this is definitely a viable viable way to get chlorates really simple. All I had to use was uh, this hypochlorite generator that you can get for 12 bucks on eBay. $12 for this thing. Sodium hypochlorite disinfectant generator. So you've all seen what it looks like. I've got a few of these now. I do actually use these to make bleach. The uh, sanitizer solution. But they are cheap. And they work. Now let's see if we can take a look at the electrodes again real quick. In the light. can see what they're uh, made of. Yeah, I think it's uh, MMO. I believe it is lead dioxide. Either that or manganese. It is pretty dark. Whatever it is. It might be on stainless. It might be on titanium. I'm not sure. I got one of them where the edge wasn't done. Where the edge wasn't finished and the material underneath was like a gold color so i don't know what that could be i don't know what the material is yeah i just 
can't get it. There we go. There's a focus right there. Yeah, I just can't tell what that is, what material that is. Maybe somebody, somebody in the description or somebody in the comments will tell us what what it could possibly be just by the looks. I think lead dioxide because of how dark it is. But then again, the uh, MMOs are all dark like this. But they're usually more shiny. The uh, manganese? Not sure. But uh, I can show you what it looks like after a run. I'll show you what these look like after... Um, actually, this this will be the second run. Not this electrode, but... Why isn't there? There we go. I'll show you the other electrode. So, after, oops, let's see if I can do this now, it's still running, you can see, this was a, this was a run I did, where I didn't use up the, the solution completely, I stopped it after like, two days, and as you can see, it's still producing quite a bit. And I've used this electrode for, uh, this is the second time using this electrode. And they are not damaged at all. It's still running very good. So, like I said, this is a viable method for chlorate production. Small scale chlorate production. So, if you're a home chemist and you need chlorates, this is the way to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think.